Yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR. Pit stop. S R N C. What's up, girl? Nikki S F S U. Breezy J J S. Hey, Miss Everb, right on time. Black or sorry, y'all. You know we working through things. Usually, Stacy always stay that way. Don't don't change, Stacy. Just be you always. And we're back. Um. Yep, you're always on time. We thank you. Uh, well, not always on time, but Miss Averb, we thank you. Uh, Shang will jump in in a minute. In a minute. He will. Uh, in the meantime, man, uh, <laughs> before he jumps in here, I went out today. It, it's it's crazy. Last, last Tuesday, I woke up and was like, I need to get another gun. Like another, like I got one on back order, a shotgun, but I was like, I need to get another one. And then that crazy ass debate happened and it was like, whatever. And then this, this today, Wednesday, uh, Big Chang, I see you in the building. Go ahead, request, we'll get you in here. Um, I was like, I need to get ammo. And I went out and got ammo for guns I don't even have yet, but I'm still, I'm still waiting on my shotgun. But th this is the one you want, okay? This, this is rubber, okay? I got some, it don't, it don't even say non-lethal. It, it says less than lethal, <laughs> okay? It says less than lethal, which means that if I hit you in your fucking neck, I can still get you with this one. But it's rubber. That's rubber right here, okay? But this shit is buckshot. So once I get my shit, you don't want you don't want my shit. So sorry, Shane. As you jump, I just I brought out some ammo because I, I I realized that I bought ammo for guns I don't even have yet. But I was like. Let me get ahead of the game. Because when I bought Gertrude, I don't know if y'all remember, I bought her and then didn't have any fucking ammo. I was like, oh shit, well that's useless. <laughs> well, at least, now, you got, at least you got a gun. I mean, I know. But, but these these are shot, these are 12 gauge shells, 12, 12 gauge shotgun shells. I don't have Bruce yet, but this, this is to warn your ass, okay? This is rubber. Stay the fuck away. But if you, if you ignore this, then you get in the buckshot, nigga, in the other magazine. And this is that shit that'll chunk your ass up. So, yeah, that, 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 you know, beyond Gertrude, I'm waiting for my other shit. But that's where we are, guys. Like, so. What's up, Marika? What's going on, y'all? But this, this, this was a lesson to say about preparation for me. Because while I was informing myself about... Uh, gun ownership and and how to behave. I, I realized I bought a gun and had no plan for ammunition. Right, Leviathan is on the way. I already have him coming. Eve, trust me, we got him. He, he's coming. But uh, and I'm gonna show him to you when I get him. But uh, but I realized I didn't have a plan for ammunition for supplying the the weapon. Um, and and if you're gonna go through the effort of getting it and spending money. You better be prepared to supply it and, and you know, arm it. And arms aren't arms without armament. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, just wanted to show you all that I, I, at this time, I'm actually, when the rep weapon arrives, and I'm not even trained to use it yet, but we're going to figure it out. That's what we do. Oh, and absolutely. So I, I, um, I have, and you know, you know who I think? For it. You know who needed some ammo and a, a gun? Um, Pence for that fly on his fucking head. That's what he needed to blow that fucking fly off his fucking head. Shoot it off his his quaffed evil fucking his Johnny Quest skull. Um, <laughs> so it was just bullshit. By the way, anybody got any suggestions? I tried the airplane mode. I tried the other thing to stop this shit from happening. Please give it to me because I did all of those things that was suggested and none of them worked. Hilarious. So, Yo, and uh, she said, Miss, Miss, Miss Unique Love said Pink Eye Pants. So, I, it, like, did y'all saw that too, right? It wasn't just me. I think it was his left eye looking at the, the camera angle and all that. I think it was left eye. It looked like he had the red dot. Like, like somebody had snake jabbed your ass or his wife right. was like, who's this bitch? Yuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he had a blood vessel issue on 
Oh yeah, but that was because that was either that and or or that was from him sticking his head up fucking Trump's ass and his eyes get red from the, you know the, the, the ad. Uh, what they call that fucking pink eye? Yeah, it's yeah, it's conjunctive. It's pink eye. Conjunctive. Kang, so Kang Garlene called it. It's, it's yeah. So uh, also uh, pin 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 the subscribe down. If you it's the pin the subscribe on the bottom. Oh shit! Uh, I'm I'm leading this. It's me. Oh shit! I'm drinking. <laughs> Also, yo, make sure you guys follow us on all podcast platforms, Savage AF, Savage AF, on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, on Spotify. And make sure you check out the podcast for, I mean, the uh, YouTube channel, the new YouTube channel called Savage AF Podcast. Go to YouTube, subscribe. Don't give me that shit about, I ain't got enough money to subscribe. The shit's free. I want to see y'all on the page. Now, I saw we got some two people subscribed tonight. We need more than that. All right? That's number one. Two, I apologize for stopping, but the, both these shows will be on the uh, will be on the um, YouTube page. Um, also, I think that back to what we were talking about with the debate, we'll do a little bit more time here. Um, I personally think that I'm going to go with the fact checkers, not the fact that I don't like light-skinned bitches, uh, which is the dumbest thing some black people say, or I don't like her attitude. And she did, and, and it will be addressed about her her um, incarceration record, which she did. And if you look at it, she may have been 1,200 black men that went to jail. Also, some of those black men, hate to break it to you, and I love my people, were guilty as fuck. I know that's fucked up, but it's true. Oh. And it didn't. It didn't show how many white people that white men that she incarcerated. So you gotta put that in context of what Pence said. It's all in perspective. And, 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 and Pence I'm tried to. He tried to pull that shit out with black people. I'm we do more that. for black people. You know, it's bullshit. Now, and that I'm that tight face, the African American community. Duh, 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 shut the fuck up. Pence, you ain't even been hardly near somebody black. That's the closest you've been to black people. And the plexiglass between you is the shit. You can eat a dick. One, you, you, fake, you fake motherfucker. And the fact that you're still taking up for all of these lies, I still think she could have leaned in more and said, both you bitches is lying. Like, because all the fact checkers showed that they were lying. Just, and he lied. First shit he said he lied. And I'm looking at it right here in black and white. The first shit he said... They didn't even say misleading. They said uh, false. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's, uh... False. This We've not, already this added not, back 11.6 million jobs because uh, we, we had a president who, he always said that we as a president cut taxes, roll back regulations, unleash American energy, fought for free and fair trade, and secured $4 trillion for Congress and the United States direct payments of families. And, and another one, all right? Uh, the economy was doing well, but it wasn't because of you, motherfucker. And also the remaining 11.4 million of the 22 million jobs, it just, it lost between February and April, but that rebound has relatively little to do with Trump's policies. Boom, bitches. Boom, bitches. It had nothing to do with his policies. And guess where a lot of that shit pertaining to the regulations came from? Hate to break it to you, bitches. All you Trump supporting bitches. All right. Guess what? That was an Obama fucking administration that got that done. When it came to the economy, which they picked up, which was one of the worst economies, period, the end, and they turned it around, actually... Biden was one of the main people pertaining to bringing jobs back for manufacturers with cars. It was Biden, believe it or not. So that's a fact. And it said it came back and it, and it actually said that. But because of the shutdown, because of the coronavirus, amid the viruses, businesses that they brought back were basically just jobs that were reopening. What, it was like the, they, you know? No, and you know, uh, one of the other remarkable things, you know, that they tried to spin, in addition to to the the economic stuff, was was the the pandemic itself, right? Like, basically, the leading question was, you knew how dangerous the shit was early. Why didn't you do more shit? And you know, Vice President, current Vice President Mike Dense was like. 
the, the president told you everything that doc, Dr. Fauci told us. So, like, they completely flipped the whole thing on to Fauci as if he didn't tell the American people enough. When it's so well, obvious, yeah. if you were paying attention at all, that they absolutely were ignoring Fauci and his team and everything he was saying the whole time. So I'm like, bruh, from opening... Yeah, they, they were some on, bullshit. Also, yeah. No, I'm saying, pretending to the coronavirus, the question they asked, and he answered, well, it was the outdoor events with all, at which all of our scientists regularly, routinely advise. And they said, false again. This is out the gate. Mr. Mr. Pence was referring to the gathering at the White House on September 26th when Mr. Trump nominated Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court, an event that appears to have produced a cluster of coronavirus infections at the highest levels of the administration. He had formally announced the nomination in the Rose Garden where many of the attendees flouted, and, uh, flouted the recommendations of the public health experts. In other words, they didn't listen to the motherfucking scientists by not wearing masks, not social distancing, licking each other's face and taints. And there was also a private reception indoors where photos show of entities mingling in close corners without wearing masks. How about that, bitches? You motherfuckers. And it, it's impossible to say which of those events was responsible for the virus to spread. But the day's festivities were all, were the not all line, the outside. Timeline is fucked up. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, we know what it is. Usually, Stacy says Trump supporters always want to ask that question. But you know what he's done? Uh, guess what? I don't fucking care. You know, beyond that, uh, usually, Stacy. What you should usually ask them is, what has he done? Like, what, like, and, and Shang was there a night that I, I had to confront a, a Trump supporter who was trying to debate about the economy and shit, right? And he was trying to tell me all the good things that Trump has done. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't know any of the good things that Trump has done. I'm sorry. You're right. Inform me. Enlighten me. Please tell me what he has done good for the economy. And he sat there like a deer with a, in, in, a, in a He headlights. literally closed and was like, well, I don't know that stuff, you know. You'd have to get somebody else. And I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, that's what I'm talking about. So when, when they say, do you know all the stuff, all the good stuff he's done, challenge them on all the good stuff. Say, no, I don't. I don't know. Please inform me of all the good stuff he's done. I guarantee you nine times out of ten, they won't know shit either. They're just right. going to say, well, he did good stuff because he's been here right. a while. Like, oh, they even the, lie. the yes. dude I argue with said he must have done something good because he's been there for three years. And I was like, eat a blender, dog. Like, yeah. running, I need you to swallow a running blender, dog. Like, or put it on your head, then turn it on. Like, yeah, massage way, your throat with scissors. Get yeah, the fuck okay. out of here. One, Pedro destroyed this motherfucker as it's supposed to be. And secondly, the other thing is, when you ask a Trump supporter, when you ask a Trump supporter what he did, they lie and say, well, he built a wall. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. They refurbished a wall that was already existing, and there was there is no fucking wall, okay? So basically, all that bullshit and the money he was taking away from actually stuff we could have actually used the money for, it was bullshit. What else did he do good? Well, he, uh, he got rid of those immigrants. He got rid of them. No, actually, he didn't actually get a, a problem with European immigrants that were coming over. It was always had to be Mexican or Hispanic. Or, you know, from other countries, that's why he said they're, you know, basically some countries are shithole countries, but anybody from Iceland or Greenland or those kind of Norway, they're fine. And they don't even come in. They're not as, as qualified as the motherfuckers that come from Africa. Most of the people from Africa are all college graduates or when they get here, they graduate and they're way more educated, way more educated than our quote unquote uh, European Americans or white folks that are here. So get the fuck out of here with that shit. Know your shit before you do that. That's why Kamala was giving him the business. And according to factchecker.com and fact check on the vice president's debate, he was misleading and false far more than Kamala Harris. Now, Kamala Harris did miss a couple beats, but not even close to what Pence did. 
And y'all can look it up. In fact, I'll put the link in the motherfucking feed if you want me to. Because that's what we're talking about, the truth of it. Trump lied his ass off last week. Was it last week? Last week, the, last that days. horrible days. debate. And well, yeah, that shitty, horrible fucking debate. And Pence calmly lied. He didn't yell and scream and call names, but he calmly lied his ass all the way through that fucking hour and 29 minutes. So eat a dick. And, and Publicity Mag, if you come on here again and say something, I swear to God, I'm going to release the Savage Nation on you in your inbox, bitch. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry. Had to get that shit off my chest. All that shit on my chest is right now. That um, intensity. That's the intensity. Intensity. Yeah, Damn, he so, just... So God, I, I'm scrolling. He's say, still lying. I will say overall, though, that tonight was less of a debacle than the presidential debate, which is one of those things that, like, you know... It's kind of scary. It's like uh, that that our vice presidential candidates are a little bit more reliable, give or take whatever you feel about them individually, than the top of the tickets, right? Like that we're actually voting for the the number two spots and not not the number one. So it's like right. That's why he we, we've Biden always said we've acknowledged he always acknowledges the motherfuckers it. ever running. And they're both right. Die. That I don't understand. One has co one has COVID, and the other is Joe Biden. <laughs> like, it's like they might die. It's crazy town, You're right? It's crazy town, and this is all brought to you by the white general public. Now you can say this is racist, and I give a fuck. But that's who's the majority of the people that are backing Trump. Now there's some black cooney coon coontastic coonlicious motherfuckers, but Primarily, it is white folks, period. Primarily, it is Republicans that back him, even in the face of flat-out lies and the bullshit he said pertaining to him having COVID. He did have COVID. Now he's completely healthy and completely better. No, 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 no. Every doctor said, no, you're not out the woods yet. But he says, no, I'm ready to go. Bring back in the Oval Office. And even his staff is like, I ain't standing around your bitch ass while you got the COVID. Bound. Everybody in that bit, yeah, <laughs> they did, and the people around him are getting COVID. They said within a two-day period, ten motherfuckers that were around him he went test tested positive. He ten. went. Back, he went back to the uh, Oval Office today. Right back to the office. You know how many people float in and out of there, man. Like it's you know it's the thing, man. It's, you can't. It's it's not even in in within the boundaries of your own CDC's regulations. You're not supposed to show up. There. Dog, I would slap a bitch if they knew they had COVID-19 and showed up in my job at the restaurant. I'm like, bitch, you got COVID and you here? Yuck! <laughs> Get the fuck yeah. out of here. And I, I, Get I, out of I here. That with the glove. I would, I would specifically put a vinyl glove on and be like, oh, you got COVID? I'm sorry to hear that. Like, yeah, it don't make oh, sense. Yeah. Oh, so wait. Oh, uh, and oh, you feel all right? I'm so glad to hear that. Yuck. Yeah, oh, uh, you're asymptomatic, really? Yuck. <laughs> yeah, this is a symptom. I... Pimp slap. That's what that is. Nigga, and by the way, if you didn't, if you didn't understand it, on uh, this is on the way back. Understand it on the way back. Yuck. 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 Nigga. But actually, that, I was wrong. There was 10 around him, but the correction it is 34 so far have all tested positive pertaining to COVID. Kelly Ann, Kelly Ann Conway, her, that's, that laughing skull, that is, that's the ghost rider without her the powers. <laughs> that's you, her if grill. You, if you trace it right, he's going to kill Baltimore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, if they can properly trace that shit, it's going to kill the show The Wire. Like literally, you won't be able to download it anymore. That's how far back it'll go. Like, um, you find out that COVID killed Omar, not that little nigga in the in the right. Store, you know <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. Like, it, 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 yeah, it, but it, but honestly, uh, when you look at when I'm looking at fact check, I'm looking at the New York Times. I'm looking at um, just in general when you do it on on Bing and whatever else. 
the general consensus says that Mike Pence was dishonest. Mike Pence was basically an automatron just spitting out bullshit. Uh, uh, you know, it's just... <laughs> Yo, usually, usually Stacy says Smack Hammer can do it, dog. In addition, in addition to Uncle Stabby, we do have another yes. black hero, Smack Hammer. Yeah, I have a black hero named Smack Hammer. Smack Hammer, it's Smack Hammer. That's where you talk. Everything is Smack Hammer. You don't want a piece of Smack Hammer. And then you got you know, Uncle Stabby. Uncle Stabby come up in that house and stab you in the the, the fleshy part of your ass, the big meaty part. Or the ass right there, stab, nigga. It won't kill you, but you really, it won't kill you, but you know I stabbed you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, oh shit, my shit fell. Man, I should stab my phone for falling God stab. I mean, but look, damn. if you look at who won the debate, four key moments in the debate. This is from Fox Eight, which is a Fox News. Okay, the poll who won um, the vice presidential debate. Let's see what they say. Let's see what Fox says. I'm going to scroll all the way down because they want to go back and forth about the lies told. and uh, uh, Watch Mike. Oh, and they, they talk about the fly on his head more than the fucking uh, debate. Oh, goodness. This is so bad. Um, they're, of course, they said Harris dodged a direct answer to the question instead of raising uh, an antidote about how President Abraham Lincoln deferred uh, a nomination. Okay. Um, Biden leads in it. Okay. So Pence pointed out, so they don't give a winner. They don't give a winner. So we already know what Savage AF listeners said in the seven eight okay. Savage AF people. We know that Kamala was definitely um, better than Pence. Um, I don't know. That, I mean, I, I, I mean, it was just, obvious. Just in respect of time and whatever. And yes, Prime Minister Tate, we on waffles and bourbon, my nigga. That's how we gonna get out of this thing, dog. Trust me, it's the only way out. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, they, they, I think, you know, Pence, more respectfully, for those who can't see us on uh, either YouTube or IG Live right now, I'm using air quotes when I say more respectfully, but he, uh, you know, he more respectfully disrespected the time. He ran the light. Absolutely. You know? He ran the light he, and over he, and, and over he, again. And he ignored questions and went backwards towards other issues and and kick campaign notes. But ultimately, like, this wasn't quite, this was much better or or much closer to a debate than what we saw, you know, eight days ago. Uh, but with Trump, yeah, tr Trump, but Trump points drop when he did this shit. And I think Pence, now we see, according to the I'm fact checkers, Thomas Kaplan, who is a political reporter for um, uh, the Washington Post, uh, I think it's Washington Post. Yeah. And he said, um, he said that, you know, basically that was a lie. Um, but they said that, um, that Pence was right, telling the truth when he said, um, Joe Biden has refused to answer the question pertaining to the Supreme Court. Um, since the death of uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Mr. Biden and Mrs. Harris, or Ms. Harris, have declined to weigh in on whether they supported adding seats to the Supreme Court. Now, they did do that. And I don't understand why they wouldn't just say that. Yeah, if we're in power, yeah, we're going to do that shit. Just like you fucking prevented us from getting a Supreme Court pick. And you, you, you prevented I mean, um, yeah. Obama, yeah. which I think he should have, he should have, Obama should have went more hard in the paint about it. But, I mean, they did do that on purpose. And there's video of him saying, and you can keep this video and use the video when I'm saying if I'm lying. And people have been using the video, you dummies. The Lincoln Project made a whole commercial of you lying, saying that you were going to wait until and let the general public, you know, decide who the Supreme Court pick should be. And you motherfuckers are rushing it through with the quickness because you want to get rid of Roe versus Wade and the Affordable Care Act. So all of you motherfuckers that's on the side of these people, all, I, all you, all you motherfuckers, y'all can eat a dick. I can't believe you can't see this. And as women, all the women, and I know we got some women followers on here, and you're going to say, why are you putting it on us? I'm letting you know something. They are going to get try to overturn Roe versus Wade. Don't get it twisted. No, if, they, to, if, if they, if they, because, you know, when you talk about stacking the courts, like, that's absolutely yeah. what they're trying to do. And the Republicans' argument is that, well, that's what we, what Democrats are trying to do. So it's not a denial of their own actions, right? So, um, the reality is, 
the the Republicans set a precedent for not filling a seat when during an election year. And even though um, the the filling of Merrick Garland or you know the nomination of Merrick Garland was ignored ten months before the exact election or not. Right. Um, I mean, we're we're two three months out. You know what I mean? Uh, from when Ruth Bader Ginsburg dies, and and the the Republicans want to rush that through, even though four years ago they said, uh, you know, the people should should decide. So, not to not to just you know you know rehash all that that verbiage because we we we've heard this at this point, but we just know that it's it's hypocritical to talk like that and and. Once you go hypocritical, then I, you know my response. You can't give a fuck about like I can respond right. forever because you've acted you've acted like a monkey brain raccoon minded ass jackal, and I can do, I can do whatever to negate that. Like that don't matter. So right, I can say if you start talking to me about yeah man, my car I need to go get an oil change, and I go go hey man, bananas got potassium. I can answer it whatever way I want. That ain't the fucking answer to what you're saying. So at the end of the day, and also the one thing I want to emphasize to all the people that's listening on Savage AF right here, make sure that you are subscribed to the podcast uh, on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And also, I need you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is new, which is brand new. Uh, yeah, we got one more subscriber just now. Subscribe. Go to Savage AF Podcast. Of Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Make sure you do that. Um, but I, I just want you to know, according to the fact checkers, absolutely um, Kamala won. Um, but you uh, on Twitter, they're going ham. But the one thing I do agree with, even though they felt that Biden, even though it was a, a fuck fest shit show, um, uh, Joe Lockhart said, Joe Lockhart, who I've, I've watched before, and he's not a, he's a conservative. He said, Message to all Democrats: Do not believe the polls. We've been down this road before. Now yeah, he's yeah. going against. Go Go so out. don't, don't. And, and Kamala said it. So I'm going to do what Joe said. Go, get out and vote. You can change this shit. You can change it. And I hate the fact they keep trying to act like it's both sides that was being rude and interruptive. It was not. It was Pence in this situation, and it was Trump in the other situation. It was not. Well, they both no. Kamala went over her time a few times, but not even close to what Pence did. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And as as Pedro getting tipsy, and yeah. as he should. God, God damn it! It's one of them nights. I st- I can't I can't watch this shit sober, dog, because it's it, it's too too stupid. Matches is three sixty. Right. What up, cuz? Welcome back, man. I appreciate you. Gonna Google. And, and Goonie Google, motherfucker. And y'all, none of y'all can Goonie Google. I saw, I saw somebody earlier say, take a look more tipsy than whatever. Like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Do you know what, we, what, what we're going through right now? Listen, dog. I just bought, like I said earlier, I bought two rounds of shells. I don't, I don't even have a gun for these yet. I don't even, I can't even shoot these yet. But I've already bought shells for shit that I, it's not even here. Okay, so yes, that's what's going on. Shit is out of control. Okay, I'm in America. I'm a nigga in America. Yes, it's, it, yeah. it's a very stressful time, and end of the day, you I mean, motherfuckers the day, out there better get out. Night, and then load my we don't, okay, okay, somebody said, I don't mind at, at all having to pay taxes when the poor can. This is a lady, Mo Bella, that said it, and I think that's dope. Because if, like, I have, this is just sounds so fucking pretentious, but I understand if you make that much money, you get taxed heavier. And so um, if you're a multi-multi-millionaire, you get taxed a little bit more. You really are not changing your lifestyle. Whereas in, if you're uh, uh, somebody in a lower e- economic rung, then guess what? You're getting fucked over. So I don't want to hear that shit when he kept bringing up taxes, when there was no re- need to even bring the shit up. He was just being a, the bitch he is. And even the fly was like, man, don't go back to the taxes. They're going to kill you that on the fact check. And then I could hear the fly. I don't know if y'all heard. I heard the fly. And the fly said, man, oh, so you ain't going to wave me off? Well, fuck it. I'm here for the duration. <laughs> what you going to do? Well, fuck it. That might, well, fuck that it might, you're right. That might have been a fucking, that could have been some CIA fly or some shit that got drone. Yeah. That could have been a drone. 
Oh shit! I didn't even think about that, dog. You didn't think about it that way. It could have been a a fly yeah. drone. It could have been a fly drone. They like they said, if I could only be a fly on the wall or a fly on Pence's head, <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, cheers, cheers, Pedro. Yeah, you get your drink on. Get your drink on. Get to get your drink on. And if you look at, um, I'm looking at everything on Twitter. They're going full ham. I still don't want to. I, so what? So what? She, they feel she won. So what? Um, Shane, Eve, you know, Eve, I just, Eve, Eve said the fly sounds like Cat Williams, which it probably was. He was like, uh, bitch nigga, bitch nigga. Uh, uh, focus <laughs> on the economy and the things you're trying to do. And leave the COVID alone, my nigga. Cause don't bring, uh, bitch, nigga, bitch, nigga. Don't bring up uh, motherfucking H1N1 because, nigga, you didn't do nothing, nigga. Uh, yes, and also people are saying Pence looks sick, and and I think he did look sick. Honestly, I think his, I think somebody jabbed him in his eye. Listen, I, I've seen a few street fights. I've been in a couple. When you get that little red dot in your eye, nigga, somebody tapped you, dog. Like somebody touched. He had a red dot right here, like in in the white part, in the corner of his eye, and his eye was watering. So, nigga, I saw that. All right, yeah, right. late, late. I saw that, but I was like, oh, somebody touched your shit. Either you was playing pickup basketball, and and that dirty nigga like rebound the, the nigga who rebounds. And yeah, like, the one that always does that yeah. extra foul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that nigga he'll always catch you here and shit. But honestly, Pence would have did better. I was thinking if it was like Eight Mile and he started rapping bad shit about himself, that would have been better than the lies he said. If he would have been like, also, "Yeah, I'm from a trailer park." Yeah, if he just started, if he had just did what the fuck. <laughs> you know, Eminem did in Eight Mile by turning the rap battle back on himself. Yes, I, I work with a lying motherfucker. I also think that physically he looked whiter than Eminem in Eight Mile. Like he looked pale as fuck. And then oh no, he, yeah, people said he looked sick. I was like, I was like, you looking whiter than your hair, dog? Like you sure you good? And they probably pumping him with the same motherfucking drug cocktail. And that's why they, they they're raccoon minded muskrat. There's probably I don't know. I don't know if there's like honey badgers or wolverines that live in their mind, but uh you know, these guys are they're rabid with their thoughts right now. And they don't they have nothing that's driving it other than lies and propaganda. Uh, and let me let me let the and people it was, see. It was, it was it was interesting to watch. It was funny. It, it was, it was, but it wasn't as difficult to watch as, as last week. Oh, last week was way worse. Clearly, it hasn't worked. When you're looking Clearly at the thousand dead bodies in our country, American lives that have been lost, families that are grieving that when, loss. When, you know, when, there's no way you can start off with the virus and not, and not hit them hard. How serious this was, and then the things about Uber. We learned that they knew about it, and then when that was exposed, the vice president said, "When asked, well, why did y'all tell anybody?" He said, "Because the president wanted people to remain calm." <laughs> I mean, she, tried, she definitely won the night. They tried to say um, it all the time. I mean, this this was this was a better presentation of a debate than the last time, obviously, than than the presidential debate itself. Um, the reality is, this is the only one we're going to see of the vice presidents as 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 far as the schedule. But um, it's probably the most telling in terms of the future of America. Because like we said tonight, and like it was said tonight on stage, these are the two oldest motherfuckers to ever run. And no matter who wins, they will be the oldest motherfucker to ever win. And whoever is behind them, number two, needs to be prepared. Because... Right, and out of the two of them, Kamala the came off like she's more prepared. She came off more prepared, and I I hope that she, 
you know, because I think that somebody's going to pop a balloon and then, you know, Biden, if they do win. Ah, ah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, exactly. So matches 360 said the winner gets a walker. Gets a walker. <laughs> yeah. You know. it's, it, it's sad. And there was a, uh, I, I can't remember the, the comedian's name. Um, he has a full beard. He played author, the new author. He's a British guy and he, and he, he, he fucked a lot of women and he been. Um, he said, is this the best shit you got? Is this the best shit America got? Two, you know, old ass motherfuckers that Where we one are. that's obviously horrible, the other one that don't got much time left to be the fucking president of one of the most powerful, you know, it's just weird. And yes, he did look like the vampire from Underworld. AJ Fit <laughs> said, Pence looked like the head vampire from Underworld. I love that movie. And by the way, the, the, a black dude wrote that movie, man. The, the black dude Right, the one with the real deep voice. He was in the movie. He was the big muscular van, um, werewolf in the movie. Yeah. He wrote the movie, and he's one of the producers on it. So shout out to that. I will find I, out that dude's name. I've always that exercise, especially for that. But yeah. especially for revealing the, uh, you know, the deep-seated war before, be, between uh, werewolves and vampires that nobody wants to talk about, you know. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants Nobody to get into it. It's like Armenia and fucking Turkey and all that shit. Like, but yeah. Right. But but we, we but we know what's going on. Street, right. Nigga. In these streets, nigga. And some of them are niggas, nigga. And some of them will bite you, nigga. And some of them on the full moon will just eat your fucking head. Right. But that's the shit y'all don't want to talk about. Y'all caught up on these elections and shit. <laughs> you don't want to talk about the werewolf vampire racism that's going on oh, and how shit, the vampires dude. been treating the oh, werewolves shit. like niggas. Yeah, they've been treating the werewolves like niggas. Like the werewolves keep getting pulled over by the cops and the vampires just drive by at the middle of the night with a dead ass body with a neck drained out of it. Preach they don't it. say shit about that. Preach Boom. On, nigga. Nigga, I'm nigga, saying they don't want to talk about they don't want to talk about the systemic fucking racism against werewolves sharpening them teeth in public. They feel like that's, you know, degrading and shit to the rest of the people. Just, but the vampires nigga, can walk around with the sharp just, teeth all the fucking time. Listen, just because my skin reacts to a full moon differently than yours do, that, that means I'm some, I'm some other fucking other shit. Meanwhile, exactly. you can't even fucking deal with the sun, right? Or some vampire shit, right? You can't even deal with the sun. <laughs> but somehow my moonlight shit is illegal. Nigga, fuck right. that. Nigga. That ain't nothing but racism. They, no, nigga, <laughs> they never realized how. <laughs> somebody, somebody came in on it and said, what the fuck did I log in on? <laughs> 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 Werewolf vampire racism. Um, so, yo, that's, <laughs> this Savage AF, sometimes shit goes left and right. Um, Kamala got Pence looking crazy right now. Exactly. They, after All the stuff I've looked at and all the fact checks, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. By far, uh, Kamala came off definitely more steady and more on it. Pence interrupted. Um, they said two two minutes and three seconds more each time than Kamala did. He went over his time minimum uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Um, so, and she, where she did it, uh, a minimal amount of times. And I know that Miss Everett says that Kamala looks, Kamala looks like Jay Z. That's fucked up. But, but you know what? She did drop bars. She dropped bars on, on him tonight. Bars, bars. So, Savage and, AM and brought that, you by. Being said, that being said, she, she represented well for, well, for were werewolves, and Mike Pence was definitely a vampire. So in the yeah, or alien. Somebody said Master 360, shit, alien. Just to get back to the underworld shit, like, you know, Mike Pence was definitely vampire, you know, uh, you know, drug, blood drinking, all that shit. And Kamala Harris was like, she runs with the wolves. I don't know if y'all up, up on that Detroit too. You know what I'm saying? That Sean, Big Sean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, Big Sean, uh, motherfucking Post Malone, you know, raised by the wolves. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real shit. So like, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, raised by the wolves. Like, Total vampire. Right. And uh, if you go on Twitter right now, everybody can see what happened, basically, in the debate. 
and who really won the debate. And just fact check it. Fuck what you feel. For like we say, fuck your feelings. Fact check. Fact check the shit. And she was more truthful. And her answers were more cohesive, according to the Washington Post, the New York Times. And well, let me see this other one. Let me scroll up and make sure I know what I'm talking about. Yes, the New York Times. It was the New York Times, and they were showing the highlights, and basically they ran through the, the, the truth. So that's what's up. And plus, if you look real closely, you know what I'm saying, you can see the reflection in the plexiglass of Kamala. When you look in the reflection of Pence, you couldn't see his reflection. I'm just saying, think it nothing. Let that think it. Let that sink in on you. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if you know your folklore. That's vampire shit. I don't know if you know that. Uh, you couldn't see Pence's reflection in the plexiglass because the motherfucker ain't real. But you can see the fly. You can see the little fly floating there. Yeah. My own cousin, Magic360, is like Kamala from Canada. No, dog. She's born in Oakland. Where you from? Oakland. Smoking. You know what I'm saying, dog? Like, she's, yeah, she's y'all try Oakland. to. And then somebody said California. Jamaicans aren't black. Jamaicans aren't black. When was that? When did that fucking happen? Jamaicans aren't black. I had somebody say that shit on, on a live. I was like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Jamaicans are, it's, it's a mixture, but but there is a, so first of all, Jamaican is a nationality, which has nothing to do with race, right? Just like American, right? Just like right. Europe, like, so, you know, they're, they're, their nationality and race are different. You could be from a, this is why it tripped me out when uh, black Latinos are like, I'm not black, I'm Dominican. I'm like, nigga, that's your country. <laughs> that ain't your That ain't your, what you are, that's right. That's just a fucking nationality. You, you are from Africa. I ain't black. I, I ain't black. I'm from Cincinnati. Shut the they'll fuck be, up. Shut they'll up. Be black, they'll be black as the tires on their car and will be like, I'm not black. I'm like, nigga, ass cradle love. I'm uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like I'm not black. I'm from, I'm from <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky. No, you're from you're that you're just from there. It's the same shit. Um, exactly. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi, uh, co white. There's white Jamaicans, black Jamaicans, but her father was Jamaican, and she she carries herself. She's in uh, as a black woman, and she is. It's not like she's you know <laughs> making this shit up. But I get it. Anybody that wants to say anything they can against her are going to say it. I agree. I'm not giving her a full pass. She still got some shit to answer to. But again, if you look at the, the bullshit, the lies, the fact check pertaining to the debate, the false equivalency, the fact that the president has COVID and wants to do a town hall fucking debate next week. I, if I was a regular person that lived in Miami, I wouldn't come to that motherfucking town hall the debate where Trump is walking around and getting at, 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 with the COVID, old COVID coochie face ass bitch. So Y'all know he's a COVID coochie face. And and he knew, and Hope Hicks, they knew she was sick. And they let her ride on Air Force One. They didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck about the people around him. He don't give a fuck about you. He gives a fuck about Trump and his family who are corrupt as shit. And y'all don't know that. If you don't know the shit by now, 27 days left over, left in the, the fucking to vote, then you is just a dumb bitch and you deserve to be kicked down the steps of the Empire State Building. That's a long kick uh, down the steps. You ain't going to make it to the bottom. It's That's all I'm saying. Trip. It's a flight. It's at least a flight. Uh, matches 360. Who was your classmate that you thought was hot? I, I, I missed that. But the, the, the feed is active, and we always thank you guys for uh, joining us here on ID Live Monday through Friday. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Pedro, tell them to subscribe to the thing. Don't, Matt, just let them know to subscribe you know, to the, the, the channel. You know, in addition to following us here during the time of COVID uh, and lockdowns yes. and, and, and social distancing, we're here on ID Live Monday through Friday. Mondays to Friday, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But if you miss that, you can catch us uh, through audio wherever you get your podcasts on all platforms. Uh, but if you want to see this, if you want to see the video and the, and the audio, and hear the audio, I should say, uh, then you can catch us on, on YouTube. Uh, just follow Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Search that. 
That's who we are. That's where we are. That's the channel. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. And, uh, right. you know, you can you can catch up there. We're up there. Yes, we just, we, yeah, yeah, we just launched that. Um, the, pod, the, the YouTube channel, we need five more people to get to. We got 100 subscribers. We just started this. It is brand new. Um, if you look on there, you can see it's just five hours ago. Some of the stuff was updated. So, um, it's a, it's a new channel for us to get more, uh, Savage AF listeners and people out there. So, so make sure you check it out. Um, we got some videos we're going to be making to come up and some stuff we're working on. And you'll, you'll see a lot more shit coming up to, from Savage AF and with, uh, and make sure you follow at Black Pedro. All you people on my page is listening to this shit right now. Because we on both pages, make sure you follow at Black Pedro, all right? And make sure you give respect to the Werewolf Clan. Because the Werewolf Clan, okay, first off, the Werewolf Clan is real more down than the vampires. Because the vampires are a bunch of elitist motherfuckers that think they better than us because they live forever. Fuck the vampires. And they can't even feel when flies land on their head during the national <laughs> Which was parents tonight. You know, there's more people coverage for the fly than Pence. That's fucked up. When the no, when the fly no, got more charisma than it, you, it just it just proves that if you can't keep the virus out, like if you can't keep a fly out, you ain't gonna keep the virus out, dog. Like that's it. And you've been around motherfuckers that have been infected. So the fly was like, "Yay, yeah, bitch, I'm with you." Yeah, I'm here. Protected. Yeah, the I'm most the most anyway. protected man in the world. The president got it, but he was. People kill me like, how could he have possibly got it? He was an ins- irresponsible cunt. That's what he was. He did a bunch of irresponsible shit, rallies and shit, I- encouraging people not to wear masks, encouraging people to, you know, not social distance. You know, you can don't don't let the virus, you know, rule your life. You know, go out there and conquer it, just like I did. You see, I put my mask off, even though I was breathing heavy when I was on the fuck steps. Or the fucking the White House, you saw me. And see, he's a bitch. He got bitch like qualities, a racist, and he's a cunt. And anybody that follows him, you got cunt like qualities too. You got cunt, you're cuntish. You, you're, you got cunt chroma. Car- <laughs> That's chroma. Usually, usually Stacy is like, this slide is going to be on the t shirt by morning. Like, trust me, this is, it's going to be a whole new thing. Yeah. You gonna be able to? It's gonna you gonna be able. It's gonna be a fucking filter where you can put a fly. In. Oh, I'm making I'm making a meme tonight. Are you kidding me? I'm making a meme with a big ass fly on his head and say, "Quit lying, bitch." That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna make it, the fly go. The little thing with the fly saying, "Quit lying like a bitch, bitch." It's like when the devil on your shoulder ain't enough. <laughs> when you get a fly <laughs> in your fucking hair. I'm gonna put. In fact, I'm gonna do a search and fly. Like on it, it, it sounds silly to talk about this, honestly. But there was a point where I was like, "Yo, is that a fly in his head?" Yeah. And then I'm like, "Yo, that's a fly in his head." And then when he keeps moving his head, I was like, "Yo, the fly ain't moving in his head. Like, like the fly stayed in his head." And I was like, "Bro, you're a piece of shit. Like, when the when the fly stays on you that much." My nigga, I've had flies land on me. And I'm like, I'm not a piece of shit. Get off get off me, dog. Right. And the fly gets off me. I've had a fly land in my hair. I'm not gonna lie. I'm an American. God damn it. That shit happens, nigga. And if it ain't happened to you, you ain't a fucking American. Right. right. I've had and a check fly this out. My hair. And the you know the I new I did this shit. I did I did this shit. Check this out. Like, they already oh, on it. Biden already is clowning this motherfucker. There's a picture of Biden with a fly swatter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is like, I I can I know when flies are on my head. He didn't have he don't have that much more hair than me on top. Like on top where the fly was. Like if we just center it like here is or something. I like I got the same amount of hair, nigga. I know when a fly. Oh shit, we done lost strength. But all I know, I know when a fly is like right here on my head. I'm like, ha, hey, I do, I do that. Like, hey, I don't know if that's a fly move. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to thwart flies. Like, I don't know if that's a like official defense move against like, hey, like you know, nigga versus fly. But I, you know, like I, you know, I do this. 
And that nigga, you know, he was doing like head moves and it wasn't like the fly stayed like, I'm going to stick around for this. No, I'm into this shit. This shit, this shit, this shit I'm on. Here comes Shane right back. We going again. But here's the thing, you know, it's like the fly stayed on him, right? Like he made too many sudden movements that a normal fly, a non-GOP fly, should have flew off of. But this fly, Shane, welcome back, should have like, dipped. But it stayed on it like, no, this my shit. This is my shit right here. And I didn't understand how that fly stood on his head. Cause like like I'm saying like Shane right here if if a fly lands right here which is approximate skull wise to where it was on Mike Pence I'm like I can I can I can feel that and I can I feel that I don't know if it's the moose you know whatever product you use on your hair I'm I'm juices and berries a little bit of shampoo and conditioner right mostly just hope and faith. <laughs> oh, people are already going in. People are already going in. Check it out. They already got the Biden oh. fly swatter. And also, look, on, on this one, the, the fly is holding a... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a campaign fly. It was a campaign fly. Meanwhile, See? I, I saw land on me. I, you're right. I, I don't understand it, but flies on know. shit for brains. If somebody said fly on mattress 360. You said what you said fly flies on shit for brain. Exactly, yeah. So that you know, we you know, it's for a fly to stick around that that long, you gotta be shitty, bro. Like I'm sorry. I, I hate to take the low road on jokes and be like, Oh, but this is an easy one. As comedians, it's like listen, listen. You were the one talking shit. You were the one attracting flies. I'm not going to say there wasn't a fly in, in Kamala's hair, but it's mostly black. So you're not going to see that fly. But the fly that the <laughs> never, the fly Wait, that never, two minutes. The fly sat there for two minutes chilling. And, you know, and it was actually on a little cell phone calling other flies going, this motherfucker didn't even wave me off. Y'all get over here. We can lay on this shit here forever. It was I, the dumbest shit. I don't, I don't know. The, I don't know the official stats, but. Two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes is anywhere from. Including 20 of them. 17 to 22% of a fly's life. Okay. Like these niggas don't live long. When we talk about shit, bees, flies, caterpillar, butterflies, all that shit, these niggas live like a week. Nigga, three days, 14 months. We be complaining about 60 years of oppression. Yeah. These niggas will yeah. live for 13 minutes. <laughs> like some, <laughs> some, of these, some of these insects, they have, they, they have a very short lifetime. So when two minutes of it is spent on Mike Pence's head, you either wasted most of your life. Or your life time. listening to Mike Pence. Think or, about it. Or, it was worse for you or, than Mike Pence's or, wife. Or you just found the shittiest place on earth and indulged yourself for as long right. as you could. You know what I mean? It was like it was like this fly just went straight to shit vacation. It was like. Um, What's the joint in Jamaica? Uh, Kingston. Uh, um, Dunswater Falls. No, wait. No, we can do whatever you want to or some shit. Uh, either way. <laughs> it's like a paradise, a cove or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. you know, you can, it's like a fly, fly ass paradise where you can just go and do whatever you want to, sit on Mike Pence's head, ride the waterfalls. And and die happy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Uh, Sh Shanina, uh, take no shit. Our essay said shit vacation on Pence. Yeah, it was sure. make America maggots again. We're getting so many people going in hard, hard on the paint. Who was that said make America maggots again? That was Matches 360. 
Miss Adverb, who still don't like Kamala. Jeff Goldblum requested to be part of the debate, but they said, no, we already got to fly. We already got to fly, but normally we would fuck with you. But this is going to be a fly here. Um, and he just... He did them. Yes. That's, that's what I'm trying to think of. It's the goddamn club in Jamaica. It's called hedonism. And that's what that's what the fly, that's what Mike Pence's head and his shitty thoughts were to the fly. It was like, oh, I could get, go here and, and just live a hedonistic lifestyle during the And day. nobody will say nothing. For two minutes, for two minutes, which is like 80% of my life, fuck it, I'm going to hedonism which is the vice presidential debate on top of Mike Pence's head. And I'm going to ride this white, this white. When you're in the Caribbean like that, because that's what hedonism is, he was drinking, you know. He was drinking milk. shit. It was drinking shit. Oh, exactly. side note, um, Kuntas to Daniel Kuhnman, he said he um, he's demanding Kentucky, a uh, they were demanding Kentucky AG to recuse himself from the Breonna Taylor case. So, they're getting multiple AGs across the country that are specifically asking him to recuse himself, and he's receiving major criticism pertaining to the Breonna Taylor. Major, because what he what he admitted, anybody any other AG, anybody else would have got it done. So yeah. that was his his um, basically sucking up to his what is his grandma? I don't know whoever the fuck he uh, McConnell. Is it McConnell? Mitch McConnell is his. Is his Mitch man. McConnell, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just saw that on the T, but there because that was that's the only thing that broke in. But everybody's talking about this debate, and we're talking about the debate. But what we're gonna do is because I gotta I gotta finish up this last thing for this website before I crash out. Um, yo, uh, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. This is gonna be up on the YouTube channel, which Pedro's gonna let you know about. Also, if you want to get some Savage AF merch, go to our well, where for now until our, our official page is up. Um, make sure you go check out it's I am Shang backslash merch. Um, and we got Savage AF t shirts, Savage AF masks. Don't be average, be savage. Make sure you check that out. And, yo, definitely go to the – and thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. We are almost at 100. We just launched it. So some of you people out there, we appreciate you going to the channel and watching some of the updates of some of the new shit we got coming up. We appreciate you. Getting it. Appreciate All right. That. All right, so we will see you tomorrow. What time? 6 p.m. To 7 p.m. All we're right, doing. we appreciate you. Um, Pedro was going to put this up, and then it'll be on the podcast, and it'll be on the YouTube channel. Okay? See you tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, see you tomorrow. Cheers.